And now, my favorite part of the day, it's time to eat. The shepherd's pie, trifle, Irish stew, feels like I'm in the old country. Here we go, we've got the trifle. <laughs> this looks great, here you Let's go, Mary. down here for now. Oh, well, you guys are so patient sitting here around all the food. <laughs> um, thank you for waiting for us. I'm so very honored and grateful to be sharing this meal. I, I don't know if you know this, but my parents' uh, families are all from Ireland, but right. I've never really had the food before, so I'm really excited. So thank you so much. Um, why Let's don't we try. cut into the shepherd's That's pie? Right. And you guys dig in, dig in. Good. Well, speaking of holidays, what's another, like what are some of the big festive holiday traditions that you guys have in Ireland? Well, the, all the big occasions around like first communions and confirmation, mm -hmm. weddings, Christmas is always a huge one. Christmas is big? big Christmas is a big event. Like everywhere, it's all about family. But in Ireland, they, they do it in style. They do it for a whole week. <laughs> Christmas is for a whole, a whole week. Whole, the country shuts down from Christmas until New Year's. And then the Christmas dinner is the main event, you know. But, and it's this very special dinner. You only do it once a year. Would, would a whole big group of your family all come? Yeah. Like grandparents, Everybody. aunts, yeah. uncles? Yes, yes. Yeah. And if you're the only time of the year, you'd have turkey. Turkey? Turkey. Yeah. And the traditional ham. And Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. That's the only time but we the ever have Brussels sprouts. the kids aren't happy when Don't the Brussels sprouts come in. Don't forget our trifle. And cherry trifle. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. so that would be something that would be right. subject. Right. Yeah. right. Oh. Plum pudding. Plum pudding. Plum pudding. Plum pudding. Plum pudding with a custard or a brandy sauce. Oh. Yeah, the, oh. the cake and the pudding is usually made in November. Okay. To let it, you know. In November? Yeah. So it's waiting for an entire month? Oh, that's amazing. And a special Christmas cake then, too, similarly be made. How do you think that the the culture and the food of Ireland has grown up past like the times of the potato famine and poverty? I mean, uh, Ireland has one of the strongest economies in the world. It's a very modern place now, but you still go back to the traditional things for the big occasions. Mm. You might still go for your curry or something different during the week, but for a family occasion, you'll go back to the traditional dishes and roasts or turkeys and hens and all that. That's still part of who you are. Yeah. You know, so the, sun, the, the Sunday dinner was always, well, the Sunday dinner, Sunday lunch, like people would stay at home, but always be like a leg of lamb or a roast beef, mm. and everyone would gather for dinner like one o'clock on a Sunday, you know, roast potatoes and mashed potatoes. But I'm dying Damn. to try the trifle. Okay. All of that hard work. <laughs> I know you guys probably are, oh, probably would be really upset with that. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So this is the layers of the lady fingers with the jello, the fruit, the custard. the custard, the cream, and then a sprinkle of Irish chocolate on right. top. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. And you know Mary made the lady fingers on the bottom from homemade? Yeah. Very talented young woman. Yes, very talented. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Well, I wanted just to thank you guys again so much for sharing your food, and I get a big, healthy portion of your Irish hospitality. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm Laura McFalls, and we hope you guys had a great time too. We'll see you next week.